what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, um, Marjorie Harvey uh, is being shamed for not buying her parents a nicer house. Now, um, she posted uh, photographs of her parents' house. She went back to see her parents who live in Memphis, Tennessee, and she posted some sweet pictures in her parents' house and outside her parents' house. Um, after she posted the picture, one, she posted it inside, and uh, she said, it feels good to be back in Memphis at my parents'. Then uh, she had one uh, sitting in front of her parents' home on the stoop and saying, on the stoop, hashtag family time. Well, right away, you know commenters, they called out Marjorie's shoes, which appears to be a pair of $995 fur-lined muse slippers by uh, Gucci. Now, uh, in front of her parents' home, which looks modest in comparison to, um, you know, Marjorie and Steve's home in Los Angeles. You know, you know, they have the big fountain in the walk-in closet for golf attire and extensive custom shoe collection. And uh, Steve, uh, her husband Steve, who hosts Family Feud, uh, we know he writes books, does stand-up comedy, and has re a reported a net worth of $120 million dollars. Now, Marjorie has a blog dedicated to high-end fashion called The Lady Loves Couture and is frequently pictured sitting in the front row at runaway shows around the world. Now, um, the couple have a combined seven children, four from Steve's previous two marriages and three from Marjorie's, it says previous marriage, but one she was not married to and the other one was the cousin of who she was married to. So, uh, it, well, you know, I'm not going to get into that, but if you will, uh, you will, I'll put a little, uh, mm, a little um, doohickey to go to, um, the video I did on Marjorie, and um, and it's called uh, Steve, Your Wife is a Gold Digger. But anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, Steve said, I messed up so many times in my life, she made all the difference. Steve told people in 2016, when you're happy at home, you can make a lot of things happen. Okay, but uh, the... Um, uh, Instagrammers and Twitters wouldn't have it. They weren't having it. Uh, one commenter said, Damn, Steve, couldn't you buy them a bigger house? You could have upgraded that house for your parents, another offered. And you letting your mom live like that. That's so sad. And now uh, it even rolled into Twitter, and a girl on Twitter said, I'm mad at Marjorie Harvey, still got her parents living in the hood. <laughs> huh? And, um, but many of Marjorie's uh, followers praise her humility. And one of them said, doesn't it feel great to go home and sit on your parents' porch? Best feeling in the world. That's right. Never forget your stomping grounds. And I don't see anything wrong with that house. Now, many also noted Marjorie's loyalty to her parents. And one said, at least Marjorie isn't too proud to go home to visit her parents. There are so many people who get a little money, status, degrees, and titles to their name, they will forget where home is and where they started. Being humble is one of the best gifts you can give to your home, to your life. Now, finally, Marjorie responded to the critics writing, I started to just block you 
for that ignorant comment, but I decided to respond. First off, I take excellent care of my parents and will buy them any house of their dreams. However, my father is proud and absolutely loves the house that he built for his family and could not dream of living anywhere else. I would never insult my parents by telling them it's not good enough. It's the house that my brother and I were raised will always be a part of who I am. I'm grateful and proud of it. God bless you. Uh, now, Marjorie is behaving respectively, according to a, um, a parenting and youth development expert. By not buying her parents a new home, she is respecting their wishes, worldview, and their role in her life. Uh, now, uh, she dif differentiates between caretaking and financial gain. Many parents do expect their children to care for them, drive them to the doctor's appointment, visit when they're sick. However, that's just respect, common sense, and comparison past, uh, based on true need. She says that's different than expecting money from their children's success. Now, the only thing kids should pay their parents is respect, she says. And that's what Marjorie is doing by obeying their wishes. <clears throat> okay. Well, guys, what do you think? Mm. Now, her parents are very elderly. And, you know, it's been uh, uh, by experience that, you know, your parents are stubborn. They they never want to move in with you or move to another place or whatever. They always want to stay there. And um, but I mean, with me, if their you know if their house was shammy or wasn't good enough or they were in danger, of course I would I wouldn't care what they wanted. I mean I. I I'm going to, it's my, uh, as the, as the, uh, you know, sometimes normally the parent role and the child role, it differs because it's going to be a time, you know, that old saying that says, uh, once adult, twice a child, something like that. But, you know, uh, it doesn't matter what they say. You have to, you have to start making rules and taking care of them. But I guess in this uh, respect, you know, if our parents didn't want to go and if they're not in any danger, uh, not in a bad area, you know, because some of our, you know, uh, old neighborhoods have turned into what we call the hood. Uh, you know, so if it's, you know, if it's not uh, car shootings and carjackings and things of that nature and they've got a, a support system near them well you know hey I feel like they can stay there but you know if I got some money that would be my dream and you know it's that was that was a thing back you know in our day because you know that's the first thing people would do when they get money I mean look at all the Motown success stories once they got their they're, you know, got established as singers. That's the first thing they would do is get their parents a brand new house. You know, like Eddie Kendricks, all of, you know, that's the first thing you do. So I, what, what do y'all think? I mean, I, do you think the house is too shammy, or do you think that uh, Marjorie should just buy them another house somewhere else? Mm, we'll leave that one up to you. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching uh, my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, in parting, be blessed, y'all. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Loud. Loud.